Merry Christmas, everybody. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Say hello. Hello. Say hi. hi. Zuri is so chilled right now. She just I just fed her, so this is a drunk on milk look. <laughs> like I can count maybe within the next one minute she will be like Oh. I think sleeping babe, no way. Did you see that? Well, she gets a little crying when she starts sleeping, so I think it's one of the two. I, I do think she's gonna fall asleep. But we quickly want to come and share this uh short video before we head out. Yeah. We want to like share you tell you guys the uh, update because Zuri She is one month. Yeah. She has been guys, one month already. <laughs> Go so fast, right? It's crazy. So she's uh one month and a few days old. And uh we just wanted to share a little bit of uh the journey so far yeah because it's been uh, an amazing month yeah and an amazing time <laughs> and uh so we just wanted to let you know what what it is what how we experienced the first month of being parents yeah and also zuri's development of course because yeah, it's course. about it's about zuri development should we start with zuri's development and then we go to how we experienced it sure i told you i was right I told you i was right first cry then to sleep I guess you know. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess you know her more than. Oh, oh, Lordy. <laughs> you guys, you guys see the cute Zuri on Instagram. This is the other side. This is the other side of Zuri that you guys don't get to see. This is it. But she's about to fall asleep. This is her trying to fall asleep. Uh, we have something that's like every month, every once in a while, you have to go to the. What you call? It? What do you call it? It's like, like a doctor's it's, appointment. It's I like don't a know. doctor's appointment done only for children. Yeah. And uh, they check everything. So yeah. well, this was our first appointment. Yes. A few days back, and uh, to be honest, you know, it was yeah. I was kind of like, well, what's going? You know, you, you're gonna hear how she's doing for the first time. Yeah. You're gonna see her weight, her progress, and you know, I was uh, not scared, but you know, I was just excited or a little anxious to hear and see how she was doing. Because of course, as a parent, you just want everything to be perfect yeah and um it was more than perfect she was she was superb at least yeah. that is the word the doctor used actually she was she's doing really really good mm -hmm. so length wise she has grown three centimeter when she was born she was 50 centimeter so after we, what they, they measured her again she's now 53 centimeter and her weight guys mm -hmm. her weight went from yeah and that's thanks to me because i'm feeling now like you know she she's gained getting a, she's getting the good stuff that's yeah, why <laughs> she gained a kilo, a kilo in, four, in weeks. four weeks so that's very good yeah so she's really really she's doing good she's eating good she is um and they also test the reaction skills so what they do is they try to see if she can already follow with her eyes, she yeah. can like, follow already because not all children do that already. So there was an assistant there and a doctor, and the doctor actually said to the assistant, "You should come and see this because this is quite interesting." And then she said, "Like, look, this baby is four weeks old, and she's following perfectly fine. Yeah. This girl is is, is fast." Yeah, she, she's fast. developing fast. And, and she, the funny thing is that she did that already two weeks ago, but I didn't say that. But yeah. She started following with her eyes we already like noticed, after two weeks. Yeah, already, we already like, noticed it two weeks ago that she's already following with her eyes. She's very, very fast with the development, which makes me super proud and super happy. Yeah, and with her neck, she, oh, she already at four weeks can hold up our neck by herself. Like when she lies on her stomach, she can raise up her entire body up mm -hmm. and like wiggle with her legs as if she wants to like crawl already. Mm -hmm. So it's like this girl, she's like on, she's like on speed dial. I don't even know. She's like, she just wants to go through every step like fast, fast, fast. And something we noticed as well, she's already started like bubbling. How do you say like rumbling? You know, like yeah, making noises like, like she's, she's trying to, to speak, say something. Like baby talking, blah, 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 yeah. which is also quite fast, I think, at four weeks already. So she's really, really doing good. When you when we go to like the sleeping the sleeping situation, it has definitely improved. 
compared to weeks ago now she wakes up twice 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 a night which is not too bad for four week old baby so i feed her like for the last i feed her like uh, at 11 and then she sleeps to four o'clock and then she wakes up at four and i feed her again at four and then she sleeps till like eight nine so that's like the kind of the, the routine that she's been like doing in the last few days actually the last yeah. five days so now we can actually, actually catch some sleep like finally four hours guys well, like four i actually don't complain too much because she has less sleep than me because she's the one who needs to breastfeed but if, yeah if, if we're so happy that we can get some more than two hours so yeah. now we can sleep like four to six hours sometimes at night is. which is amazing Trust because me. the first week it was two hours every two hours she woke up but that doesn't necessarily mean we slept for two hours because when you're the first week that's what we experience every yeah. little sound she makes you're like <gasps> Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Is she okay? It's crazy. So by the time you like start to doze off, she starts waking up. So there was no sleep the first week. No, not at all. We really yeah. didn't sleep at all. So right now we're catching sleep. People are like, really? You guys are happy about four hours of sleep? Trust me. When you're a new parent, <laughs> you will be happy when you get a four hours of sleep. So right now we are super, super happy. We want to our struggles. This last two days. Struggles, really. Giuseppe has a lot to say about this, so let's just start. <laughs> what do you mean? You start. You have a lot to say about this. <laughs> What's the struggle? Yeah. Well, it's not really a struggle. I it's just, like a I learning just, process. Yeah, you know what? The first week, if you just break it up, because it's a month, so it's four weeks, right? So if you just break it up in weeks, the first week is just hectic. Everything is new. You're scared. First parents, are you doing it right? How do you bathe her? How yeah. do you do that? Oh my god. She was making a weird noise to go to the hospital. <laughs> you know, you just you just like freak out a little bit on everything and you just like pay attention so with focus and during the weeks you let go a little bit. You get to know your child because you need to need to know get to know her. Yeah. So you need to get to know her, so you know exactly like okay, she's hungry or she needs a new diaper or she's she has the hickey, you know, yeah. to do, you know, and and, and, and you get a little bit more confident as a parent and, 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 and it's not that bad. Only what I found really struggle in the beginning was just the sleeping part, like you said, uh, waking up, uh, Guys, when she starts crying, you don't know finish. what to do. Let me finish. Giuseppe says he's struggling, y'all. I'm the one that but, needs to wake up literally every two seconds. Okay, her and, struggle is more. And he's sleeping right next to me while I'm trying <laughs> to keep this baby I'm not calm. sleeping. I'm not sleeping. What are I'm you doing, man? mentally supporting you. Sometimes. Really? Mentally supporting me? Sometimes. I'm trying not to fall asleep. But that's like the, this, this is that like, since we became a parent, now I know we as women, we are so different from men. Like there's something inside of us that just pushes us even though when i was tired my eyes was bloody red i haven't slept for days when she's crying i don't know where i find that energy i still have that energy to pick her up and make her calm and that's like something i feel like wow i feel like every woman has that in them and guys don't have that Giuseppe will literally sleep through <laughs> zuri crying like i was like how can you be sleeping when she's crying this loud he will be snoring next to me i was like so you didn't hear this child sleeping he's like crying oh sorry crying and he was like what really was she crying i was like seriously seriously so it's just yeah, yeah i think it's a mother instinct yeah that kicks in and mm -hmm. it gives you like super super woman powers yeah do we do work really good as a team like sometimes when i'm like i can't really have it anymore and she's i've done everything she's crying i just need that five second of one minute of that time and i just give her to giuseppe and then giuseppe figure it out you know sometimes she just falls asleep on his arms i don't know how she does how he does it but he kind of do it when i need him to do it like he's always there when i need him to help me out on something so that has been babies like, are also a good test for your relationship because you need to work together there is no way you can handle this comfortably without working together yeah there is when you see the other person is like so tired you need to kick in in the other way around it's a it's a the, it's it's a teamwork. It cannot you cannot do it by yourself. Yeah. If you do it by yourself, it's really hard. Yeah. And if your relationship is uh, not aligned yet, 
I'll just suggest you align your relationship before getting kids because kids are not going to solve anything. It's just going to make things a little bit more uh, challenging. Yeah. So figure your, <laughs> out your problems first and make sure you guys are, are aligned before you get kids because it ain't no joke. It's 24-7. It is a big responsibility. You get so much in return. I mean, every time, sometimes I'm, I'm going through some stuff and then I, I'm stressed and then she brings her down and I see her face and the stress just slides right off me. And I've never had anything like that. The slide just, what am I even stressing about? Look at this little miracle. And it just <laughs> disappears, you know? Yeah. It, it's, it's such a blessing and uh, I've been happy ever since. And that's, that's it, right? It's crazy. Like, you don't know that, you don't know how much you can love somebody until you have a child. Like, like I said, I never knew I could love somebody like this. I'm so attached already. Let me tell you guys a story, right? The first time I left her to go to the supermarket, guys, I left her with my mother-in-law. Right? I was so already angry that Giuseppe wanted me to go with him to the supermarket that day. So I was like, do I really need to go with you? He's like, yeah, you need to leave the house. Like she's already, I think then she was like two weeks or something. So we went to the supermarket. Literally, I, I was running like a, like a loose cannon in the supermarket, like grabbing stuff. I need to be fast. I was like, Giuseppe, I can feel her crying. Giuseppe was like, she was like frantic, really. I was like, she, we came into the store and she was like, my heart, my, my water, I can feel it from my water, something's wrong. I feel like she's crying her guts out. And she, she was so serious. I thought that she was making a joke, but she was so serious. I was serious, guys. I saw stress in her eyes. And I was like, we had like 15, 20 items to pick. I've never picked 20 items so fast. I just running with the shopping cart, like bumping into people. Sorry, sorry, I have a baby crying at home. Go to the register, pay. Drive home like crazy, and we come home, and she's like this. She's like, no yes, out. I'm like, I told you. I'm like, I, I do understand. It's the first time away from her, and as a mother, you're concerned that something will happen. It's, it's crazy, guys. But it was funny to, to experience. It's now she's crazy. come more calm. I'm more calm, but I still don't know, like. She, I don't think you can be without her more than a few hours. No, I don't think so, guys. I'm so sorry. The attachment like, between these two is amazing. It's crazy. When these two look at each other, sometimes. She's lying in her arms and they're just looking at each other for she's, such a long she's time. There so and then you can see that she's she's so crazy of her mom. <laughs> she's so crazy of her mom. It's, it's, it's crazy. I can see the bond with these these two. I can see that she feels that she's been in her body for nine or almost yeah, 10 months. Yeah, of course she knows me. That's, that's, that's it, right? That's yeah, what, that's what a we want to short like one share. Month update. One month update. We will go Do you have any tips for uh, upcoming new parents? Yeah, I think basically what we what you just said, patience. Know that it's not it's temporary. Whatever, like the sleep the sleepless night will pass. Trust yeah. me, it's not gonna stay. So when it's getting hard, just put that in your mind that this is just a phase and it will it will it will pass. Yeah. And like Giuseppe already mentioned, try to work together. Don't walk against each other. Like we have, we've had our own share of things where I get, I get super angry. I'm like Giuseppe, now you have to do it. But but then Giuseppe tells me like, we don't need to walk against each other. We need to work together to make, like this parenting thing work because it is gonna get hard sometimes. Trust me, if you haven't slept for three days straight. <sighs> Yeah, you start. You, you start getting irritated. Little yeah. things that irritate you. Like seriously, at one point, Giuseppe breaching next to me irritated is irritated me. That was so how. So I kind of like ask, what do you want me to do? Not breathe. <laughs> Stop breathing. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was great. No, but I understand. I mean, like the, the, those three, four, five days after giving birth, you know, during the day, you don't really realize that you need to sleep. Mm. But guys. In the first week, if you have somebody there that comes and help you any minute take you have, advantage of it. take that sleep. You're going to need it. The first week, week and a half is going to be sleepless. So any short nap, do it. Do it from the beginning. And after that, it will be fine. After yeah. that, it will be fine. But the first week and a half, sleep as much as you can. Yeah. That's it. Just put in your head, temporary, work together as a couple. And you guys... I'm gonna be fine. You guys are gonna be fine, and at the end of the day, it's all gonna work. It when you just look at that beautiful yeah. human being that stares back at you, so innocent, and thinking the whole world is all. It's just so amazing that you forget about all the pain and all the aches and everything. So yeah, that's what we wanted to come and share with you. We're going to be doing these updates every month. So this is 
update month one we're going to be coming very soon with update month two because they're like different new stuff that we've been seeing and how she's changing we really want to thank you guys so so much guys we now 20,000 subscribers babe wow we thank you guys thank you guys. thank you guys so, so yeah so thank you guys so so much for your 20,000 subscribers we really appreciate all our new subscribers we are really really happy with the thank amount you. of love and support you guys have been giving them to us and we hope to continue to entertain you guys and yeah Thank you guys. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Cheers.